Welcome back, YouTube. This playoff battle is in full tilt. It couldn't be any hotter. The Red Wings. Two games remaining. Welcome to the final regular season home game from Little Caesars Arena. The Red Wings and Canadians. We will be in Montreal tomorrow night for the conclusion of the regular season. The Red Wings currently sit in the second wild card spot. 95 points. They are one point behind the Sabres. They have a game in hand on the Sabres. They are two points behind the Maple Leafs for third in the Atlantic. They are one point ahead of the New York Rangers who could knock them out of the playoffs. The, this is the biggest game the Red Wings have played in years. They need this win. They have lost four straight. Kane scores! How big has Patrick Kane been? They lost a wild one two nights ago in Toronto. Patrick Kane, he scored two in that one. He gets the first one here. Patrick Kane has proven throughout his career to be showtime, to be a big time player in big situations and no game is bigger for Detroit than this one right here as they push for the playoffs. Gostas Bear insider assist. Kane's 32nd. The Wings right back in. Swayman makes the stop as that puck redirected on him. A huge goal early by Patrick Kane of the Detroit Red Wings. The Canadians have been hot lately, winning three in a row. Giveaway, Raymond shot blocked. Oh, a dangerous pass in front of their net. And Raymond unable to get the shot through. Suzuki, he scores, did he kick it? It's waved off. Three on one, up ice. There's the shot. Originally stopped by Huso. Now did Suzuki's momentum carry him in? Or was it a distinct kicking motion? They're watching the review. Let's see here. I never know with these. The call on the ice was no goal. The review? No goal. Oh, a big one for Detroit. After a giveaway by the Canadians in front of their goaltender. Lucas Raymond couldn't get the shot through. He was point blank in the slot. The Canadians come three on one and to have that called back, tough for the Canadians, very good for the Red Wings. Gostas Bear in deep. Anderson and Doc. For the Canadians, up by Sanderson, carries it into the wing zone. He had Doc go into the front of the net, didn't see him. There's a shot from the line, rebound Anderson. He scores. Well, the Canadians had the goal called back. They come right back down the ice and bury the puck, Anderson. Slamming it home right on the doorstep. Unable to tie up his stick. That's his 28th of the season. Lindstrom, the former Red Wing, and Harvey Pennard in on the assist. The Canadians in again. Gallagher shot. That's stopped by Huso. He covers it up as we played just over 10 minutes. In the first period, one to one our score. The Red Wings looking to get back into the win column. They've dropped four in a row down the stretch here. It has put their playoff hopes in jeopardy. Gallagher steals it at the wings line. His shot wide of Huso. Evans, Slavkovsky spinning with it. 
Petrie for Detroit. Gets it up to Fisher. The Wings with this third line. They've been huge for Detroit. Fabry scores! I think every time we mention how big this third line has been for the Red Wings, they come down and they score. What a shot from Roddy Fabry. A huge go-ahead goal for Detroit as this first period is winding down. His 13th of the season from Christian Fisher and that man, Jeff Petrie. Cop gives the puck away. Gooley takes it away. Slavkovsky turns it over in the neutral zone as the Canadians change. Petrie, former Canadian, he turns the puck over. Gallagher knocked off the puck by Kane as the Red Wings in the midst of a change. Harvey Pennard, he's knocked down by Wallman in front of the Wings net. Raymond up to Larkin, top line on the ice. He puts on the brakes, his shot through Kane on the doorstep. That gets stopped aside. There's a blast by Wallman. Swayman saw it all the way. He catches it and hangs on. Patrick Kane almost had another one. A big blast by Dylan Larkin. He put on the brakes. Kane went to the net. The rebound on the short side and Swayman able to get his leg out. Stopping the rebound. Here's Dak walking into the backhand. He scores. Tie game. Well, the Red Wings gave the big man all the ice he wanted. He scores a milestone goal here. That's his 17th of the season. Similar type play is what we just saw on the other end with Larkin putting on the brakes. His teammate going to the net. This time, though, instead of the shot, we saw the pass in front of the net to Kirby Dock, who just went cruising through the center of the ice, through the slot. Nice backhand move. Anderson with an assist. Harvey Pennard with his second assist of this hockey game. And it's now 2-2 two to two in the first period. Larkin behind the goal line. Across Kane, he had space. Couldn't settle it down to bury it. Kane had space and an open net. Here's Hall. One more chance. Raymond shot off a leg wide. Mata winds up. Oh, and it stopped. I think the horn had expired before that. It's two to two after one. Six to six. The shots by both teams. Two to two the score, six to six the shots. Let's see what happens here in the second period. Larkin wins the opening faceoff cleanly. Now he gains the Canadian's line. His shot, not a lot on it. Swayman holds on for a faceoff to the right of the Montreal Canadiens netminder. Larkin wins it back. Sider walking in. His shot does not get through. He walked right into two Canadians. Larkin, there's a blast. But it's poked away by Lidstrom. Raymond was winding up for the one-timer. Can't get it through. Dvorak. Caulfield, he's been quiet so far. Suzuki shot. Steered aside, Matheson over to Lindstrom. Caulfield walking in, Dvorak's shot kicked wide into the corner. Matheson walking in for the blue line, Dvorak's one-timer. Detroit able to get in front of it, start out the other way. Kane over to Gostas Bear, a backhand shot steered away. Dvorak up to Doc, each team changing. Doc across, Lindstrom walking in, his shot. That's stopped by Huso. Haran, he's battling, gets it out. He's gating. He gets some speed wide up the sideboards. Kane with a one-time blast from the slot. That was Perron up the left wing side. The old man 
gained a step, got into some open ice. Here he comes again, over to Kopfer, through the middle, a shot, that's stopped. Nice play by Kopfer, he turned on the Jets to get through the defense, Sprung with a hit in open ice. They're calling it a penalty for a trip, I thought it was a clean hit. I thought that was a clean hockey play right at center ice. They're saying that Sprung led with his stick out for a trip, let's see. Okay. That's why the refs are getting paid the big bucks. A nice stop. In the neutral zone, I thought, but the wings shorthanded, tripping. Daniel Sprong, Slavkovsky in the wings end. Cop up the high glass, clears it out. Giving chase and putting pressure on in the Canadian's end. New hook. Up ice. He's knocked off the puck, gives it away. Hall clears it to the line, not out. Evans. Cross ice to Slavkovsky. He goes down low to Gallagher. Behind the goal line. Valeno. He comes away with it. Cop. He gets it out to center. He needs to get it down the ice. The wings looking to change. Get some fresh penalty killers out. They can't do it. There's a shot by Newhook. It's the long change in the second period. Detroit hasn't been able to get the puck deep. Mata. His attempt. Line. Not out. Gallagher, his shot stopped. Huso needs to hold on, he does. For the face off and the wings will be able to get some fresh skaters on the ice. Two to two the score. The Canadians power play continues. Anderson walking in. Point blank in the slot. The Red Wings seem to part the seas. Off the face of Anderson able to just walk right in from the blue line between the hash marks and Huso was equal to the task this time. Dak out to the line, Dvorak. He's got some room off a of skate and wide. Dak behind the net, Caulfield. He tries to play it across, Dak comes away with it. Taken away by Fisher, Dak wins the battle to the loose puck. Out front, Dvorak shot, stopped. A rebound, Caulfield. Also stopped, the wings full strength, Sprong with it at center, out of the box. Kopfer, he's hit off the puck, Sprong hit, he stays with it. Up the right wing, the shot saved by Swayman. That heavy wrist shot of Daniel Sprong's is dangerous from anywhere on the ice in the offensive zone. He showed some strong work on the near side board, stuck with it, got a shot off. And a big save by Jeremy Swayman keeping this a two to two hockey game. Detroit battled, that was a tough penalty kill. And they come away with this score of this game still tied. Four minutes remaining, second period. Larkin and Lindstrom, former teammates battling. Behind the wings net, Kane in to help out. Lindstrom comes away with it all the way out to the line. It goes all the way down the ice. Raymond first on it for Detroit. Looking out front, Larkin's shot just goes wide. Larkin again, Raymond behind the goal line. Kane with some room, out to Mata. Larkin with a redirection. Didn't get a lot on it. And Swayman able to cover it. 1.29 to play, second period. Two to two, still our score. The Red Wings coaching staff made a change tonight. Rasmussen, Valeno, and Austin Sarnik in, and Rasmussen with a trip. Austin Sarnik in for Clem Costin. That change must have happened after the Toronto game made by the coaching staff. Rasmussen with a stick out, an offensive zone penalty late in the second period. Not what you want in a tie hockey game. Four shots by Montreal on their first power play. Mata up the boards and out. Gallagher. There's a shot by Newhook. Trickled in at Huso. Mata 
Sends it out to center. Anderson able to jump and keep it at center ice. Slavkowski sends it in. Huso covers that weak backhander. Montreal's done a good job. Their defense getting back, getting in front of the puck and keeping it at center ice. Really allowing Detroit to only work with half the ice. The Wings need to get the puck deep. They're able to get a line change here. This time to the line. But Montreal keeps it at center and right back in. Mata behind the wings goal. Sarnik up to Perron. Shorthanded, Perron has it stripped deep in the Montreal zone. The wings will not get caught as they get back. Final seconds in the period. Caulfield, one more shot, rebound. Suzuki off the post, it did not go in. Oh my, Suzuki had an open net on the rebound and could not bury it. I believe it went off the post. We're headed to the second intermission. Detroit two, Montreal two. Montreal has outshot Detroit 18 to 11 in this hockey game. This is a huge third period for the Red Wings. And as far as the Canadian side of it's concerned, the points don't matter for Montreal, but for Detroit, whether they get the win in regulation or they get the win in extra time, overtime or a shootout. The fact remains the same. The Red Wings must win this hockey game. They cannot allow to put it in the hands of the New York Rangers. They have their fate in their own hands here. Doc, indeed. Nice save by Huso. Near sideboards, the Red Wings cannot get it out. Suzuki scores. Montreal has been all over Detroit on this power play. Nick Suzuki, the Canadiens captain, just beats Huso over the blocker. His 15th of the season. That gives D or that gives Montreal a three to two lead early in the third. Caulfield will get the assist. The Red Wings cannot panic. They have plenty of time, but they need to step up their game if they are going to tie this one up and if they're going to win this hockey game. Mata through center up to Kane through the neutral zone into the slot his shot goes wide Lindstrom Montreal back into the Detroit end in the corner Lindstrom out front there's a shot and Huso with the paddle out able to pull the puck in covering it for a face off Boy, that Canadian's goal took the wind out of my sails. Detroit can't let it get them down, though. They have work to do. Kane back to Hall. Raymond with some room. Kane from the slot. Paddled away. Rebound. Raymond scores! Lucas Raymond. A huge goal by this Detroit top line. They needed this one. Raymond, he took the hit to make this shot over the shoulder of a sprawling Jeremy Swayman. And Detroit has tied this hockey game. The crowd on their feet. Give this team some momentum. Give them some energy. They're calling it unassisted. Lucas Raymond's goal. A huge one. Rink wide Anderson though. He's in his shot. Wide of Huso. Mata starts it up for Detroit. Comfort to Sprong. He's in to the slot. Poked off his stick. Doc. 
Harvey Pennard for the Canadians. He has two assists tonight. He'd like to get another one here out front and he scores Matheson. Michael Matheson's 10th of the season. Harvey Pennard, look at that head up. He makes a centering pass. It's a one-timer by Matheson. Past Huso. That's Harvey Pennard's third assist of this hockey game. Giving the Canadians a 4-3 to three lead. Kirby Dock picking up the other assist. Here's Evans. Gets a one-time shot from the slot. Goes wide. Detroit once again trailing in this hockey game by one goal. Slavkovsky with some speed up the left wing boards. Wallman heads him off. He gets it over to Lindstrom who shot a rebound. Wallman gets to it first. Raymond, he's got a goal for the wings in this period. Has the puck knocked off his stick. Gooley, we're under seven to play. Third period, Montreal four. Detroit three, Raymond steals the puck in the neutral zone. Can't do anything with it, Evans for Montreal. Looking to center it, Lindstrom coming in, gets a backhander on and with 4.43 to play. In the third period, the Red Wings netminder, Billy Huso will cover it for a faceoff. Detroit, they are watching their playoff chances slip. Now they're still in a playoff spot, but every point they miss out on gives opportunities to the Rangers. Raymond out to the line, Gustus Bear, his shot off a leg and wide. Kane out to side, Raymond with a shot blockered to the side. Another attempt rolls in on Swayman, he covers it. Now just 2.17 remaining, third period. Detroit trailing by one. This ever deadly third line of Detroit has been sent on the ice by coach Derek Lalonde, Cop, Fabry, Fisher. They've scored some big goals this season. Can they do it again here? with under a minute to play. Suzuki, goal line, behind the net to Dvorak. His centering pass intercepted by Fisher. Here's the wing's chance, get Huso out, get down the ice, it's Kopp. Up the far boards, out to Fisher. Fisher walking in, a shot, Fabry couldn't settle the rebound, now he gets the shot off. Dvorak, behind the net, tied up. Dak, Anderson, can Montreal get it out? Not yet, Anderson, five seconds, Montreal, through center, Detroit will not get another attempt. The Canadians hold off the Red Wings. And in what you could call a must win hockey game for the Detroit Red Wings, at the very least sustain and get a point, they cannot do it. Patrick Kane scored early for the Red Wings. They surrendered the lead. Could not get it back. And Montreal, well, a final of four to three. Puts Detroit in a tough situation. They outshoot the Red Wings 27 to 15 in this hockey game. Let's take a look at the standings. As we head to the final game of the season, Detroit is now officially out of the playoff picture. The Sabres have 96 points and sit in fourth place. They have clinched a playoff spot. The Rangers have 96 points. They have finished the season. They are currently holding on to a wild card spot. Here's the deal. If the Red Wings win, they are in. If they get one point from an overtime or shootout loss, they are in. 
If the Red Wings lose here in Montreal, the next game, the season ends. We will see you next time for the final regular season game. Let's hope it is not the final game that we bring to you this season. Till next time.